Hello and welcome, I hope you're having a great day or evening and it might even get better because today we are playing Throne of Bone, a deck building roguelike with necromancers, minions and a title that definitely sounds not off at all. So let's get into it right now and pick one of the necromancers. As you can see two are in a dark silhouette, meaning it's in a in progress art since it's an early access they haven't finished it yet to make it a bit simple simpler i'll just pick the bone collector as a necromancer this basically means we start off with one minion on the board which is a skeleton soldier with three attack and two health and how the fighting works is we proceed and it starts the auto battling system meaning they will now fight and hit each other simultaneously so they deal two damage we deal three damage both are dying but since we are a necromancer we instantly s s not sacrifice but revive this skeleton soldier and now we've won the fight got two skulls so we can buy more minions which I will do right now by buying the Deadeye Archer, which is a ranger, a ranged character. He doesn't take damage when he attacks, so this one works quite nicely, especially because the next two enemies are already around the corner. So this one, Rude Rogue, is sneaky. He can attack the backline, so we have a frontline and a backline. This character, for example, does not have sneaky, so he will attack characters in the front line, or he will attack characters in the back line if there is no minion protecting them in the front. So let's just go on because this is already an easy fight and it is not much to look at at the moment, I agree, but now we've got the chance to buy a skeleton soldier which is sparkling and glowing because we can merge these two together and they will upgrade, they will double as well as we can now pick one of three buffs that are um, or rewards that are valuable for every character similar to them. So we have two more skulls left. I will pick the Hungerer and we'll move him to first spot because the one on the first left corner will attack first and if he kills an enemy he will gain one attack permanently so let's see how this one looks let's go right here he will hit him he will hit him so everything is fine and now the hunger is instead of a 3-1 a 4-1 and we can basically do this continuously and while I was talking we leveled up meaning every time we win a fight we gain one experience point and leveling up means we gain a skill a spell our necromancer can use or will use also most of the time it's automatically so combat start target minion gains a shield this combat then makes a bonus attack which is quite nicely meaning a shield he will survive first hit so if we give our hunger a shield he can attack so especially because he does a bonus attack he will attack once if he kills the enemy he will gain one attack and since he's on the first position he will attack again since it's the regular attack and will gain one more attack so that's quite nice um combat start deal three damage magic damage to an unprotected enemy gets triple the bonus from magic mastery magic mastery i will explain in a second and here we have another magic spell deal three magic damage to an unprotected enemy if it dies permanently increase this damage by one now i will go with shadow strike put this skill book right here and now it works so what we have here are a couple of characters to choose from, but I like the limb collector. Whenever a minion dies, I get plus two, plus one, this combat. We will use that in a second. But also we have the Deadeye Archer right here, 
We could merge them, but we only have one skull. This one costs two. So I will lock the shop for the next encounter. So when we win, we will have these minions again to choose from as well as another one will fill this area right here. So what do we have here? Yes, the last fight. So the general we just had in this corner now gets into the fray. She is a smug sorceress ranged again so she won't take damage when she attacks so we need to deal with her as well as there is a health no not a health a heart next to her so we need to kill her twice so we need to deal damage once with five and then again with five so what can we do what should we do do we change anything of our lineup good he will attack her since he will get a shield from us will survive she's dead then he will attack her again done it's fine then she will probably either attack the dead eye archer or the skeleton soldier i think that eye archer will be dead he will hopefully attack her it's always different it's always difficult to to really guess which character attacks which but let's do go this way yes perfect attack again now he's dead he will gain new skills or new attack numbers skeleton soldier attacked okay that is not very good because now she will finish him and she attacks our bone collector directly meaning we just lost one life luckily this area now is cleared we proceed and move on to the intermission where we can pick a row of different events that will unfold while we go to the next area so for example we could gain the ready bone saw improved and perfected minions get plus three plus three so meaning this one is improved since we merge them together he will gain plus three but plus three jesus the numbers difficult to pronounce then mask of wrath rogues and mages get plus three attack we have a rogue a warrior sorry as you might not have seen there we have the card below is a skeleton below is a rogue so skeleton is the race this one is a zombie for example this one is a horror but we have three rogues. This is not that bad. Reapers and blights. So these are the races. Game plus two plus two. So what I want to do is I actually want to pick this one. And yeah, pick the middle row because we will train. Meaning we can strengthen one minion by sparring. This is a sparring practice, so when we win, we get to choose a character that gains a buff, a permanent buff. So he just threw himself into the two shields because these characters were shielded, meaning they survived the damage we dealt. And here we go, they finish each other off, perfect. And now we can grant the minion plus two plus two because we won the practice match. And here we gain the relic. Now this one is permanent here. And we are visiting the forge. We can either forge weapons or armor. Minions in your shop have plus one attack or minions in your shop have plus one health. I will go with attack because I'm a ragey boy. And now we have one more row to choose from or to pick and place minions in. So I actually want to upgrade my archer. Perfect. He goes up again. And I want to have skeletons to gain more health. Now they gain plus one health. And what I want to do... What I want to do... Hmm... Do I want to whenever 
annihilated minion takes damage or loses a shield, give it plus two attack. Oh, this one is a zombie. So, regarding related minions, this is a zombie and this is a zombie. So they are from the same race or the same relation. If we place him here or here, regardless where we place him, when he attacks and takes damage or loses a shield, since we will give him most of the time a shield, he will lose a shield and gains in this turn plus two attack, which is nice. So what do we have here? We have a guard paladin and a battle blesser. His ranged and turn start grant one plus one plus one to my highest attack ally. So he will gain damage and health every turn this battle blesser is active. And here we have predatory plant. He is deadly when we attack him our minion dies so let's go hopefully nope he will attack him and dies no the shield was just blocking this effect now they attacked they give him a plus one plus one and that's basically now done wonderful we can also, since it is quite slow, the battle animation, we can increase the battle speed to 2, 3, 5, 10. So if you go to 10, you basically finish your run in 5 minutes. But now we have, yes, let's do this one. Because this one is a zombie, it is shielded, so it has a shield. If the shield is being absorbed or finished off, he will gain plus 2 attack. Let's move on and do a couple more. Wonderful. I'll give him a shield again. He will finish the plant. He will finish this one. Wonderful. As you can see, now the animation is going faster. A lot of faster. A lot of faster. What a wonderful sentence. <clears throat> so what can we have here? We can pick another limb collector and move them together so either our rogues everywhere gain one health permanently or one attack permanently this one is a rogue uh, this one is a rogue mm, these are warriors so i mean we can also pick horrors but this one is the only horror in our setup so let's give the rogues health perfect and move on to the next battle as you can see up here, we have four battles per castle. So let's go here, finish him off. Perfect. Wonderful. So this is basically the game routine. And now we are taking a lot of damage and are finished. Wonderful. I did not think that would be possible, but <laughs> we just lost. Okay, <laughs> I shall rise again, wonderful. He just upgrades, gets 200 score points and levels up or increases the items we can gain. We just got a new item we can unlock it during a run. But since this is a perfect way to finish the game or the, the video, let's just say thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If not, thanks for sticking with me anyway and have a great day or evening.